All right. Take 516 of Liz trying to do a video of some exercises. So I'm going to show you in this video core exercises for swimming. There are four of them. Um, they are not complicated. We're keeping them simple. Um, but that doesn't mean they're not effective. If you're finding that you're not able to challenge yourself, you need to send me an email and we need to tweak them. Um, because although they're simple exercises, they definitely are plenty effective if you, effective if you do them right. Um, so the four exercises are the plank, push-ups, Superman with kick, and a leg hold. Um, I'm gonna show you each one and explain why it's relevant to swimming. Um, and I will tell you right now, you people better have like the most amazing cores I've ever seen. Because if I can jerry-rig my phone with my GoPro selfie stick and a flower pot, yeah, situations, it's a treasure. All right, so our first exercise is a plank. Not complicated. Um, this is what a plank looks like for those of you unfamiliar. I think most of us probably know what a plank looks like. We got it here. You can do a plank on your hands. You can do a plank on your elbows. There are two things about the plank that are important. First one is that you're stacking your joints. So whether you're doing it on your hands or on your elbows, at all times you're stacking. So you've got your elbow or you've got your wrist, your elbow and your shoulder, and they are stacked. That means that we're not leaning out here and we're not leaning back here. So we've got stacked joints and we've got a nice taunt core. So what happens a lot of times when people get tired in swimming is that their back starts to bow like this. It gets all sloppy. And usually what you see then is the legs get sort of sloppy and the arms can't quite create the power that they need to create. Um, and that core kind of slumps in on itself. Um, so in this exercise, what you're working on is really keeping that core nice and tight. You can almost think about taking your, your hip bones here and crunching it up just a bit towards that first rib. So that core is nice and engaged the whole time you're doing that plank. A plank is something there are a thousand variations for. You can start out simple, you can put a weight on your back, you can move your limbs, but no matter what you are doing to make that core more challenge or make the plank more challenging, you're keeping your core engaged and you're keeping your arms stacked. Um, so for example, this is not a plank. This is not a plank. This is a plank. Nice and tight, the whole way through. Second exercise is just a simple push-up. Before you're gonna do a good solid push-up, you need to have a good solid plank. So you're gonna take that really good form from that plank, locked out arms, taunt body, you're gonna put that into your push-up. So when you've got here, you go all the way down, all the way back up. If that's something that's a bit too much, you can put your knees on the ground but you're still gonna make sure you're holding that body nice and tight all the way down, all the way back up. So that push-up not only challenges the core, which makes it stronger, but it's also working those pecs that are big movers in swimming. So push-ups are a great exercise for that. Next one is Superman with a kick. So Superman with a kick looks like this. We're down here. We've got a nice tight streamline over our head so you can see my arms are like this over my head. I'm laying here on the ground, arms overhead, and I'm kicking my legs. Now there are three reasons why this exercise is good. The first one is that it strengthens the entire back side of, that, of your body, all the way from up here, through that lower back, through the glutes. The back side, all of that gets worked and strengthened during that exercise. The second reason is because up through here, you're really working on that shoulder flexibility. Even if you're not somebody that necessarily wants to push off the wall in a super good streamline, you still need to be able to reach overhead when you're swimming and you don't want those shoulders to just kind of sit dormant while we're not in the pool. The third thing is that as you are working the back side of that kick from your glutes, you're kicking all the way up, you're working the back half of that kick, which is something that often gets forgotten when we're in the pool. You see a lot of people with a very front heavy kick, 
which means that they're really kicking down. They're kicking in that forward motion, but they forget to kick on that back half and bring it back up, which involves in, in engaging that glute um, in the way that you're doing during that exercise. So it's a really good one for a number of reasons for the swim. Then once you've worked on the Superman face down, you're simply gonna roll over and do that same exercise face up. This one looks simple, but it's not. The first thing with this exercise is that you're gonna make sure that your lower back is flat on the ground. Because if you're like this and bringing that, letting that spine arch, that's exactly what we're trying to prevent when we're swimming. So you're gonna keep it nice and flat on the ground. You're gonna lift your legs up. And at this point, you can think about almost crunching those hip bones up towards that first rib so you've got that nice tight core here. And then you're gonna lower your legs as low as you can go without letting that back curl up and you're just gonna hold it for about 10 seconds. If you can do it longer, that's great, but your legs only come down as far as you can while you're still engaging that core and you've got that spine flat on the ground. If that means your legs hold here for 10 seconds, then that's what that means. But the point of that exercise is not how low your legs can go, but it's being able to keep that core engaged while you're putting a little pressure on it with those legs. So those four exercises in Training Peaks, I've listed them all and I put them all into your schedule so you can see that list. You can come back and refer to the video. If you have questions about it, um, go ahead and send me an email. Okay.